Hi there and welcome to another old server teardown. This time it's an HP DL785 generation 5. This server has space for 16 hard drives, 8 CPUs and memory and it also has many power supplies. It has 6 power supplies, each one has 1200 watts at 230 volt input. And this is the usual sticker you find on HP servers with all the information how to remove or install components. There is not much to see here inside because there is a lot of room for PCI cards and well, airflow. This server has a pretty interesting mechanism for the fans. They don't only come out, they also tilt, so you can access them easily. There are three more fans inside. These are mainly for the PCI cards and the power supplies. That's the mechanism that holds the PCI cards in place. Normally you don't need, uh, need the screws, but here they use the screws. You can have the screws additionally to this bracket, so your cards stay in securely. This big board here is the I.O. or accessory board. It contains the RAID controller, net network card, uh, VGA card, um, real-time clock, uh, the ILO.
as seen before, this server has six power supplies. Three of them are minimum. You can have a configuration with three or six. Each one has 1200 watts at 230 volt input. That gives you a total of 3600 watt plus three redundancy. So yeah, that is capable of delivering a lot of power. That's the multifunction I.O. board and the board I'm removing right now is the right cache for the RAID controller. It also has a connector for a battery. That's this one here, that's the battery. And there is also real-time clock battery. We have the ILO chip, we have the ray, uh, graphics controller. These two connectors are for SAS SATA drives, four drives per connector. Then the large chip with the heatsink is the RAID controller main chip, also together with this uh, LSI chip there. And last but not least, the PCI-IO board with the large connector for the uh, multifunction I.O. board and a lot of PCI connectors for all kind of expansion cards.